toe curling moment. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez dances along to heckling crowd chanting, AOC has got to go at Rowdy Town Hall meeting in Queens. The squad member was harangued by protesters at a town hall meeting in Queens Wednesday night. As the crowd booed her, the second term congresswoman sat on stage, sipped from a water bottle, and began to groove along to the shouts and drumming. The progressive Democrat has long been accused of being too left wing <laughs> by some critics, but she's now also accused of being too right wing by some liberals. <laughs> Imagine AOC is too right wing to some liberals. That, my friends, is so terrifying. I can't even, I can't even begin. That's like Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, and Jason Voorhees. Wrapped in the one with the with all wearing screen masks with little Chucky's. <laughs> that's like look that yo that's terrifying. That is horrifying. That some people consider her too right wing, under no circumstances. Under no circumstances can we let those people who think that AOC is too far right have any power in this country. Under no circumstances, I repeat, can the people who think that AOC is too right wing have any power in this country. Look where the country is now. And now they're booing her and turning on her because they're calling her too right wing. Listen, man, I would have liked to see her get up and, you know, drop it like it's hot. So we can see the the big booty on Brita, man, do her thing, man. But she kept it classy. Salute to you, AOC, man. <laughs> Unlike that fool up in Rhode Island, what's her name? What's that fool? That woman in Rhode Island who did who, who who dropped it dropped it on a handstand. I mean, she was twerking on a handstand. Salute to AOC for not for not going that far. Salute to you, AOC, keeping it classy. Look at these people, man. Yikes! These are all uber liberals. You got the dude with the African drum. You got all the pasty libs and they're mad at AOC under no circumstances. Under no circumstances. And I mean none. None. Can the people who think AOC is too far to the right have any power? Or well, we're done. It's a wrap. Forget about it. Uh-oh. Is that a Karen? Karen alert? Karen, anytime, anytime 
<laughs> and this is what you created, Gladys. This is the, the pickle you're in. Anytime you, your women show any kind of emotion in public, they're going to be vilified as Karen's. This is what you asked for. Oh, she popped that sister. That sister came up and tried. <laughs> that sister came up and tried to get her to calm down. And that Karen popped her. <laughs> Pow! Get your hands off me, sister. Sun word, sister. Get your hands off me. Who you think you are? Who that sister think she is? This woman has a right to speak her mind, even though she's a Karen printed, done. But you don't have to be putting your hands on her, sister. Sister got popped, man. <laughs> that sister got popped, caping for AOC, man. <laughs> Are they going to dox this Karen, man? They're going to dox this Karen. They're going to call her a racist. <laughs> Hit one if you think that sister deserved to get popped. That Karen popped her. Pow! Get your head off me, man. That sister deserved to get popped. What's wrong with her, man? You up there caping for AOC. Now this woman right here, this glider woman, she's terrified. Because she's probably yelling at AOC because she thinks AOC is too far to the right. However, sister, you ain't got no right to put your hands on that woman. Because if it was the other way around, <laughs> it would be an international story, man. Y'all be telling me every sister be coming out the woodwork. They do that to us all the time. <laughs> Finally, y'all get to see how a lot of queens treat us. Every sister have a sob story about how some glider queen did something to her. And we know that's not true. <laughs> glider queens be giving sisters six feet. You know how they say, give me five feet? They give sisters six feet in public spaces, <laughs> What a glider queen who, who ain't been in a fight since kindergarten. Who want to fight with some sister who been in who had a hundred fights in her life, average. And look at the one behind her that's, that that dropped down. This one, the one behind her was the one that was probably. <laughs> I think this one in, in front of her, she could probably handle her. But the one that was behind her and just sat down, I don't think she wanted no smoke from that one. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I run a number of streets up in New York. They got some people like you. Come out here, 